Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use DLSS for upscaler in conjunction with OptiScaler XCSS frame generation or Nukem 9 Mod FSR frame generation in where wins me. I'll test the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. It's a free to play online open world Wuxia action role playing game with XCSS frame generation. XCSS low latency mode will work and with Nukem 9 Smart, NVIDIA Reflex will work. These technologies help in cutting down the latency. The game officially supports FSR 3.1, both upscaling and frame generation. Unfortunately, FSR frame generation is not decoupled from FSR upscaler. We cannot combine it with DLSS for upscaler. This game is not very upscaling friendly. Noticeable graphical artifacts are produced around the character model irrespective of the upscaler use. The game comes with an older version of TLSS for upscaler. Out of the box, it uses TLSS CNN model. The game does not show up in NVIDIA app, so I'll manually update the in-game TLSS upscaler to the latest one. Personally, I would recommend using XCSS frame generation in this game as it produces less graphical artifacts than the in-game FSR frame generation and even Nukem 9's mod FSR frame gen. FSR frame gen makes a character's shadow look a bit blurry during fast visual motion and the upscaling related ghosting which is produced around a character model becomes more aggressive when using FSR frame gen. A ghost image of another player is produced when we interact with any of the in-game signposts. With FSR frame gen enabled, you'll observe some flickering around this ghost image. All of the artifacts that I just mentioned are not produced when using XCSS frame generation. The game supports DLSS frame generation and streamline version 2.7.2 so we can use DLSS GUI streamline as the frame generation source for enabling XCFG. There is one problem in this game. After restarting the game with XCFG enable using this method, XCFG will get disabled and you'll see a message in mod menu asking us to disable dilated motion vectors. Now this cannot be done as the game does not use Unreal Engine 4 or 5, it uses Messier Engine. Good thing is, OptiScaler team has already found a workaround for this problem which I'll be showing you in this video. I'll be using OptiScaler mod's latest preview 5 build version 0.9202511106 available on their discord server, we'll give the link to their discord in the description. Yeah, this is the workaround for where winds meet. We just need to set high res MV setting to auto after the first game boot and then set OptiScaler.ini file to read only. At the time of recording this video, the latest version of TLSS for Upscaler is 310.4.0. You can download the Upscaler DLL file from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. We'll be verifying Upscaler's details using TLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Just copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Save. Close. Select the file right click. Open. Yes. OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini mods configuration file optiscaler.dll mod loader file libxcss underscore fg.dll xcss frame gen file dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required we need to run the game in directx 12 mode in order to get frame generation working very important libxcss.dll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulkan apis libxcll.dll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini fake nv api.dll Fake NV API will replace in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. Nukem 9 Smart selected DLSS G2 FSR 3 AMD is better. If you don't want to use Nukem 9 Smart, don't select this file. It's as simple as that. Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. 11 files selected. Right click, copy. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. This will open the game's install directory. Game size is around 100 GB. Just open engine folder, bind this folder, win64r folder, paste everything here. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.dll file to d3d12.dll. 
I use this file name for OptiScaler mod in online games. Use it even in Wuthering Waves. There's the file selected, right click, rename D3D12. Now it's an online only game. So use the mod at your own risk. I won't be responsible if your account gets banned. Now I'll update the in-game DLSS subscaler and just open the upscaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier from Tech Power of website. Select this DLL file, right click, copy, nvngx underscore DLSS. I'll show you a way to paste it. Just open the games install directory, engine folder, binaries folder, win64r folder, streamline folder, replace the existing file, highlight it. It's version 310.1.0.0, right click, paste replace highlight the file here is the latest version enabling hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using xcfg but if you have an rtx gpu it's recommended to enable this setting right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings graphics advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu shuttling setting from here my monitor supports vrr so i've enabled it also enable vsync from nvidia control panel Click on Manage Steady Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar select the game. Scroll down to the end. Enable vSync from here. My monitor is gsync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup gsync and enable the following settings. Enable gsync, gsync compatible, enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable gsync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display here and check the setting gsync compatible indicator. We'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS, click on Setup here, scroll down to the end, and make sure enable frame rate limiter setting and inject NVIDIA Reflex latency marker setting are disabled. Check this setting. Use Microsoft D2's API hooking. We are ready to run the game. Play. Very important. You need to select the second option where wins meet DirectX 12 version. Otherwise, frame generation won't work. In game settings, display mode full screen, which is actually borderless full screen mode. Resolution full HD in my case. VSync disabled, motion blur disabled as well. Very important for using XCFG. Upscaler DLSS using its quality preset first. Game is not very demanding. I have set most of settings to high reflection quality ultra, real time sunlight enable. That's it. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.2. Upscale is selected. It's DLSS version 310.4.0. I had updated the in game DLSS upscaler. Render preset used is K by default here. So it's the transformer model. Base resolution 720p. Upscale to full HD resolution. Make sure auto expose setting is enabled under init flag section. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section, check the setting FPS overlay enable, full plus graph, scale 1.3, save when I close, I'll just enable 1% close, straight away jump into the open world, okay just observe a bow, I'll just move the camera around, you'll notice some ghosting produced around the bow, the bow string, see? I have seen something similar in Ghost of Tsushima. Some ghosting is also produced around a character model. Game is not very upscaling friendly. We are getting good performance here in the open field. 80 FPS. Oh my god, check out the reflection quality. It's so bad, so much noise is present in the reflection. Instead of using DLSS upscaler, I will simply use DLA completely up to you this can be done via the in-game settings just set TLSS to natural back to the game yeah now the game is looking very sharp minor artifacts are still present around the character model FPS it's close to 73 so that's really good to see perfect scenario for enabling frame generation okay first I'll enable Nukem 9's mod FSR frame gen just check out our character's shadow it's looking so sharp it won't look sharp when I enable Nukem 9's mod. Open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select Nukem 9's DLSSG. That's it. Save INI close. 
we start the game play dx12 after restarting the game you need to make sure that the in-game nvidia frame generation setting is enabled setting will get unlocked even on rtx 20 and 30 series gpus once the game loads up fsr frame generation will be working frame pacing graph became thick show you fsr frame gen debug view just open optiscaler menu and check this setting enable debug view displays are working properly for all of the images games hard elements are not visible in the bottom middle image they won't flicker with fsr frame gen on color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of fsr should work properly disable debug view now just observe a character shadow as you can see it's looking a bit blurry see common fsr frame generation related graphical artifact signpost interact with it okay i was waiting for a ghost image of a player to pop up i'll interact with another signpost should be here somewhere there it is let's see try this again yeah there's the ghost image moving the camera around you can notice some flickering see around the image and if you carefully observe the left and right edges of the display you'll notice some screen tearing going on when i spin the camera another fsr frame generation related artifact and closely observe a character model yeah there is some ghosting present it's actually the upscaling related ghosting just become more aggressive after enabling fsr frame generation see this is why i do not recommend using fsr frame generation in this game same thing happens with the in-game fsr frame generation okay now i'll switch to optiscaler xcss frame gen fps is close to 100 animation quality is looking much better than before smoothing effect of mod fsr frame generation works fine click on the drop down bar next to fg source and select dlss via streamline as the option click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xcfg as the option save and i close we start the game play dx12 version after restarting the game, again make sure in-game NVIDIA frame generation setting is enabled, upscaler TLSS. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen. You can check the debug view. Yeah, you'll see these purple sidebars if XCSS frame gen is working. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS it's close to 100. Uncheck debug view. Check show detected UI setting games hard elements yeah they will be highlighted pink in color they won't flicker with xcss frame gen on i'll also use inspector app to verify the status of xcss features uncheck show detected ui setting just minimize the game open inspector app using run as admin from this list select where wins meet double click xcss frame generation context yeah it's running xcll context low latency mode it's on can see the valid frames getting generated that's really good to see close now i'll show you the workaround that will prevent xcss frame generation from getting disabled after we restart the game just make sure xcss frame gen is enabled before exiting the game say why i close open the games install directory open engine folder binaries folder Win64R folder in this directory look for optiscaler.ini file there it is open it just click on edit find type high res hit enter this line will pop up high res mv by default set to true just set it to auto click on file click on save close select the file right click show more options properties Check the setting read only, apply, ok, start the game, dx12. Yeah we are in and as you can see xcfg is working, there you go the workaround work. Open the menu, yeah current streamline fg state, it's on, xcss frame gen is definitely working. You can test its smoothing effect, just apply a 30 fps cap from the in game settings. 
resume the game we are still getting 60 fps as xcfg is enabled i am spinning the camera just check out the animation quality still looking smooth not bad and i'll be honest input delay is actually manageable i was expecting the latency to be much worse than this cross it's not flickering i'll just disable xcfg now active setting unchecked now check out the animation quality oh my god it's looking so choppy as expected this is 30 fps after all outside my monitors vr range as well enable xcfg and remove the 30 fps cap fps limit unrestricted back to the game yeah check out our character shadow sprinting the shadow is still looking sharp fsr frame generation made the shadow look a bit blurry interact with the signpost waiting for the player's ghost image there it is i'll just move the camera around yeah no flickering is produced around the ghost image when using xcfg and just observe the left and right edges of the display again moving the camera around screen tearing like effect is not present just some minor ghosting around the character model upscaler related so it's highly recommended to use xcfg in this game okay i'll just traverse the game world on horseback show you some combat as well big open area here Looking for some NPCs, yeah, I can see some in the background, chart towards them. I'll just spam my abilities, lock on to my target. Small bandit camp. There's a chest present here, I'll loot it. We can block our enemies attacks, can even parry them. I was a bit slow there. During combat FPS stays close to 100. My GPU is almost 6 years old now, but it's doing a good job in this game. Most of the settings set to high, DLA enable, maintaining 100 FPS with XCSS frame gen. Without it, FPS stays within a range of 60 to 70, which is not bad by any means. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Select overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Right click, open with notepad, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.